We are on the Mount Sicker property doing some prospecting at the Rusty Rock Zone. This way here around the corner you have two roads that branch off. One is the old narrow gauge railway on the bottom. The upper one is a wagon road to the old town site and Lenora Tai Mine. Over here you have a zone of schistose rock with quartz veining and sulfide veining. And this zone is going all the way around the corner about 75 meters. So we're going to take a look at this entire zone, hammer a few chunks off, and possibly take a look at an adit that is below the road. So we dug this off a little while ago. We wanted the rain to hit it and clear it off a little bit better. You can see the mineralization in this area here. And What you have is pyrite, a little bit of calcopyrite, and there's a little bit of svalerite right in here. But the majority of your sulfides are pyrite. This is a silicious rock here with quartz. Looks sort of like rhyolite flow with uh, quartz veining here. Disseminated mineralization and this continues over here to about right here. This is just the area we've hammered out where it's a little gray white looking. We dug this all off too. You can see it's down here. Again down here there's quartz veining there. And it continues up here as well. So we've already taken a sample off here before. Right in this area. So what we're going to do now is just move along down and show you what else is here. So just a little ways away, you can see the quartz veining right here. So a bit of pyrite. Some sericite in there too. There's definitely a lot more bedrock exposed since the last time I was here. You can see here, sulfide veining. And this is quartz right there. More sulfide veining in there. More bedrock about 10 meters away. Again, very similar with the quartz veining and sulfide veining in your schists. See right here you have quartz veining and there's definitely sulfides in here. A couple pieces J2 just broke off with sulfides. So just up on top here, if you were to go in the bushes about 15 meters, the old narrow gauge railway actually ran across here and you can actually still walk it. All this bedrock in the ditch here is all new. More sulfide veining there. And more exposed in the road here. 
another sulfide vein and then around the corner here you have quite a bit exposed in the road here you can see the quartz veining there carrying some pyrite you can see the two quartz veins one there one here and uh, we expose them in the bank over here as well. Sulfide veining running through here, here, and you can see where J2 is up here working. You have sulfide stringers all throughout there. And all over here. More quartz veining here. Quartz veining here. I took a sample from here a couple of years ago and we did get some gold values out of this right here. So the sample we took out of here, the quartz veining over here, uh, it was 3.26 grams per ton gold and that sample is RR number one from here and you have another sulfide vein here about 10 centimeters wide and this rusty rock zone continues all the way down to where that little divot is in the road. One of the things we want to do is head down below here because about four or five years ago I found an adit down here and it runs parallel to the road like this and obviously they were trying to intercept mineralization. You can see your schistos rock runs this way but right here cutting through it you have quartz veining going to here and then it takes a sharp turn off and follows the foliations of your schist and the strike of your schist more quartz here so we're gonna head down now and see if we can find the old adit, which is somewhere below us here. So that's a lower road. Where we were filming before is about 100 meters up along there. And right now I'm standing on what looks like the old mine dump, which is heavily overgrown. You can see the quartz. all over the dump and this is the very hidden portal of this adit which runs parallel to the road up there And it looks like we're not going in. There is a foot and a half of water. About 40, 50 centimeters of water down in there. But you can see this cuts through quartz veins. Quartz vein, quartz vein. There's another one there. And I actually went in this a while ago and there's one farther down at the back. This goes in about 25 meters. See quartz right on the top here. So we'll probably just pull a chunk off 
of here or somewhere along the wall here. Take a sample with us. There we go. All right, so these are the pieces that we took off. You can see that's pyrite. There's a bit of sphalerite in here. It looks like the majority is pyritized. Some sphalerite in there. And this is similar to what the vein had above that I sampled, only with less mineralization. So we'll keep this sample here. Looks like there's more quartz along here too. So that mine is just off the road up there. And we are walking back now. So we made our way back up now. Just chipped this sample out from right where J2 is. And you can see pyrite and some quartz. Looks like there might be a little bit of calcopyrite in this one too. And there's this. So what we're gonna do is take sample from here we already have three samples one that we took from up there one we're taking from here one from around the corner and then one from the attic down below so that's four samples total three of them we already got and I'll show you the samples once we finish taking this one so this is the first sample we took from the attic we got the second sample here, which is from the quartz vein around the corner. The third sample here. And that is the sample from the vein up there that we had already taken. And this last sample here, you can see sulfides. And this sample was taken from right in here. So, four samples. We'll see what the results come back as. And we'll leave a pinned comment in the description with the assay results when they actually come in. So you can check back in a few months.